What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Got a bit of a different video for you guys today. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to install G-Shade for your Open BVE. I've been getting many DMs in the past, many comments in the past on how do I make my game look like yours. Your games look so much nicer than mine. How do I install G-Shade? I'm going to give you guys an answer today on how to install G-Shade. going to go through the process step by step with you guys. Pretty easy, straightforward process. Should take no more than five minutes. And uh, let's get into it. So go ahead and click Windows or whatever operating system that your OpenBV is on. You'll get this message that uh, G-Shade latest installer, .exe, isn't com commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust G-Shade, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and click the three lines. Go ahead, click Keep. Click the down arrow. And go ahead, keep anyways, then click on that file. You're going to be uh, showed this screen. Click more info and go ahead and click run anyways. This will pop up. Make sure you click yes. And this is where you start installing the G shade. Go ahead and select your preferred language, English, of course. Go ahead and click OK. Agree to the terms and conditions. And this is where it gets interesting. You gotta pay attention the most here. This is where your the directory is gonna be for the G shade to go into the specific game. Go ahead and click browse. Your files may be different than mine, but it should be along the lines with this PC local disk C D A F whatever uh, disk that is. Uh, you guys should have program files eighty six or wherever whatever your OpenBV directory is on. Go to that. And go to the OpenBV that you want to install G-Shade on. So you guys may notice here I have two OpenBVs. OpenBV 1.8.4 is a different OpenBV that allows you to drive different trains that the other version can't uh, download. So that's why I have two. So this one right here is version 1.7.1.8, if I'm not mistaken. That's the one that I want G-Shade on. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click that. And make sure you double-click on OpenBVE.exe right here. And that should be your directory, local disk C, or just C, programs files 86, openbv, openbve.exe. Your guys' should be similar to that. Go ahead and click next. Um, go ahead and click the uh, preferred or advertised bit that your computer is able to run. Uh, mine is a 64-bit, but for some reason, 64-bit is not working. I've tried it mom numerous times. Nothing. Uh, make sure GL, OpenGL is selected. Um, I don't really mess around with this too much. I just leave that as default and scroll down here. And you want to definitely make sure that the box for G shade is selected. And go ahead and press install. Let it work its magic. And there we go, we can go ahead and click next and finish. This pop-up notification right here is not, not important, it has nothing to do with the installation progress, so you can just go ahead and press no. And now we can um, launch our OpenBV that we just installed G-Shade on and just load up some random route, make sure that it's working, functioning the way it's supposed to be. I just loaded up some random route it might take a minute or two loading all the AIs that I have. Alrighty, now that our OpenBV has loaded, uh, let's just test to make sure that our G shade installed properly. And the normal default hotkeys for the G shade menu is Shift F2. And there we go. Look at that. We have our G shade menu and all the shaders that we need to enhance your game's graphics to the way you desire. There is around, I want to say, maybe 
100 to 200, possibly 300 different shaders that they have. Um, I can give you guys a couple now. I know, for example, Levels is one that's really good that I definitely use. Just look at that. Makes it look 10 times better already. Um, another one that I know is Curves. Is also really good. Makes it look so much better. Um, I know one, another one, Eye Adaptation. And look at that. Three, three different shaders already and it looks pretty good already but that's not all there's way more and you can press your active to the top to have your active ones that you know which ones are there that look really good um one that i really recommend is neo blue and you can go ahead and mess with how bright dark all the contrast and everything saturation everything you can do color blends and everything. That's a little too bright, of course, but you guys get the, get the purpose. You guys can mess with it to your your desired liking. Um, well, that's just just a few of the shaders. Uh, I will go ahead and leave the link for G Shade down in the video's description. The link for G Shade is also in my Discord. Um, you can find it in the links i believe game links game assets yes game assets it's in the game assets channel g shade link is there i can leave um a list of the shaders that i recommend for you guys to use and i can leave it in the video description and also in discord also my discord server is completely revamped i teamed up with a friend of mine and we totally changed the server around do check out the new server tell me what you guys think about it to go what you guys like to see also uh the we're gonna be deciding which videos i do in the poll section of the discord server i already have three polls in my discord server uh be sure to uh vote on each and every one of them i have some interesting content listed on the polls there tell me what you guys want to see and that will be that i'll make the video of course on the most votes for each poll and that's pretty much it, guys. G-Shade is one of the greatest things that I like about uh, OpenDB. It just gives it a whole new... It just makes it more alive. And of course, to close that menu, press Shift F2 and Shift F2 to open it back. You can always close it whenever. You can always operate while choosing shaders. Just make sure you click on the OpenBB application. And you will be good to go. I can operate as well as choose different shaders that I want. That's what I'm I will that. You guys would like to look at it. All of you guys. Thanks a ton for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to help you and assist you. I can also assist you in the Discord DC. Just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. It's your boy suspect. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.